Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazurik, our host, Mr. Adalo Baluba Level. But I've done a few more focuses off screen than I originally intended to, but we are currently at war with the SRI. But first, um, I can't remember if I read this one yet, but High Commander Forms. The time military high command has left fracture with the division of the land itself. In yeah, in time since, its structures remain unchanged. Let's reorganize the High Command of the demands of our current situation. Artillery effort. Our artillery and other support equipment must be flawlessly integrated into our ground units. No attack should be made without support. Begin Regisorgamento. Times come, Italy, this wonderful land of abundance, shall again be united. Viva Italia. Which is great, great, great. And this looks all okay. So in the meantime, infantry tanks. I don't mind getting this one. I like this one quite a bit, actually, so... I guess infantry tanks. Armored vehicles must coordinate closely with infantry so that both may fight more effectively. So, as I said, the SR did decide to go to war with us. I was actually planning to go to war with Austria. Also, apparently, I have played this route, specifically this route before in the past. My fault. I didn't realize I already did. But, oh well. It's always fun to play as Otelo Balabo and be a national populist. Because who doesn't want to be a national populist? Best routes. Best routes. But, we've killed off about 203,000. Well, they've lost... Well, we've lost about 50,000, so... Um, we're not the ones attacking here. Ooh. Well, that is not very good over there now, is that? No, it's not. So, we're doing the best we possibly can. Um, obviously, we're not perfect over here, but we're doing the best we can. I'm going to say maybe force defense if we can't get in there. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to lose that tile. Force it. Force that defense. Syndicals so take over Australasia. Alright, no one cares. And we get some more of this. Cool. Other than that, I mean, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Our ships are doing, they're doing some work. Look at that. Not bad. Of course, this does damage our own guys quite a bit, but you know what? Why are they doing force defense themselves? Azerbaijan and Iran doing their own thing there. Um, you want you guys come over here? How about? Well, they're all falling apart like normal. Pretty normal. Nothing really too concerning about that. Yeah, we'll stop. Go grab some of that. That won't really help us out too much, but whatever. Ooh, yeah. The biggest thing is just make sure we hold out. We got. We actually have enough supplies and equipment and stuff like that, so I'm not super concerned. About that for right now. Uh, I would like more army XP, but that's alright. Uh, but we do have some comms to go through, as long as we can make sure that we don't die while getting attacked by the SRI, but such as uh, Kaiser Pact. You should play Kaiser Pact Mexico or Interventionist Legation Cities, which I should. Someone says, don't forget the officer core stuff. I shouldn't, but we need more army XP for it. Someone says, national populism will save Italy. Well, he just calls it like he sees it. No need to get worked up. Pump the brakes. Someone else says, very based. Hail Mocha and Hail Balbo. So, and someone says, Italo Balbo with. Love and love eyes. Yeah. Someone also says, literally, Kaiser Redux, Evola, but tame and boring. Someone also says, hmm, yes. Novo Romania Mania. Rom Romania. Romania. Oh. Someone says, good episode. And so says, any good paths from Mexico? I'm thinking the Synarchist path, which I do need to try out. And maybe even the Stockton path. I don't know. I'm totally open to different suggestions and ideas, so. We shall see in the future. But yeah, daily gains, not enough. Yeah, why, why do the Romanians keep wanting to attack? I, I don't understand. We can still attack these. Rally support within the SRI. There exists a network of resistance to the syndicalists within the Socialist Republic of Italy. Those who would rise up if called. They've been working ever since the Civil War, and while their forces might ultimately not tip the balance in their favor, we can use all the help that's available. Not a bad thing. Of course, it is 1939. Let's get some better at this stuff, too. Ooh. Build the pro defensive line. The ragtag defense that stopped the syndicalists back in 1920 will not stop them now. Let's build a for board of forts and trenches. No to prepare for another assault by the socialists. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. I mean, they're, they're attacking like crazies, which, don't get me wrong, I like. Uh, they're running out of manpower already. And they should have, like, quite a, quite a few guns. They still have... Ooh, quite a few guns. Oh, that's not good right there. Not good. Keep doing that for now. See what you can do. That's a little concerning over here as well. Yeah, you stay there. Uh, what do I want to do this political power, though? Armor, truck stuff? Ooh. That's why we can't have nice things, man. You better stay there. Well, obviously, they get some extra help, too, but still. <clears throat> and in the meantime, I'm going to try to make these divisions even bigger and bigger and bigger. What type of division template we're using? That's a standard one, but the one we really want to use is this. Oh, that would, oh. Well, it's not great. In all honesty, it's really not great, so. Really is a lot more engineers. Or really engineers, but artillery as well. Uh, that's not really a lot. Of course, let me, let me do a 37 factories. That's not terrible. 
The biggest thing is just hold. Oh, look at that. Nice. In the meantime, let's go and build some of that up. And we ran out of things to build. Okay. Um, there you go. Build that too. Might as well, right? Oh, look at that. Thank you, Romania. Okay, we're out of sport equipment. Oh, we're, we're, ooh. we're already on a statistic conscription. Service by requirement. Monarchy is starting Greece. All right. Small ship manufacturer. A cruiser. Cruiser. Heavy ship. I like that one. That one's probably the most. Yeah, we're getting these engineers, though. Gives way more entrenchment. Oh, they're forcing the attack as well. Ooh. This might be the time to strike, maybe. This might just be time. Maybe not, but maybe. Not bad. Level 6 is pretty good. Mm, maybe, maybe not. It's a lot of losses. I did take part uh, originally when they attacked us, but... I ended up losing it. Oh! They went to war the Ukrainian National Republic, huh? Don't stop, huh? National populists? Alright, well, whatever. See what you can do. Maybe we'll help out there, too. That's fine. Dispersed Industries, nice. 1939, of course. There's that. Eh, I'll grab some of that first. That'd be so good. Can we actually attack right there? Yeah. How about one maybe attack here? It is over a river and into forts, so we do want to keep that in mind as well. So we're not quite winning here, which sucks, but whatever. You should be able to win down here, though. Maybe you can just hold another attack because it is not. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm glad I looked over here. Nice. Not bad. But you seriously cannot lose here. A few tanks and modernize their guns. Our armed forces large still rely on the same outdated weaponry as during the Valkyrie. We must bring our small arms up to par with the rest of Europe. And then... Servizio Astillerio Femenil. The potential of Italian women to contribute to the war effort still remains largely untapped. By establishing all female volunteers to serve and support roles within the army, we can begin to harness the abilities of our honorable sisters. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, we have one extra two. Ooh, that's not good. Armenia was annexed. Well, what else do you expect? Yeah, that's not good. Even if we lose a towel, it's not going to be the end of the world. Hell up, bro. That sucks. Yep, we got that back. Nice. And then... There you go. Oh, there you go. That's fine with me. Boom. Bum. Bing bong. Hang out and hold out. We took their actual turf, which is great. We've lost 70, 80,000 versus 30 to 40,000, which is pretty intense. That's all right. Ooh, another ship. Hey, another cruiser. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, you're definitely not allowed to lose that one, though. Definitely not allowed to lose that one. Thirty-nine. Get some better recon, maybe. She has level 8 on attack, which that's actually very impressive. Whoa, you got Parma? Huh. Alright. Please don't lose. Don't lose Milan. Not bad. But that's basically what we're going to be doing for the next couple uh, things, episodes. Uh, we'll do this one. The armies have now been all completely reformed. Our soldiers and officers now stand ready to reestablish Italy's rapid place among the great powers of Europe. Modern as Alpini. Were it not for the bravery and skill of the Alpini, Italy would surely have fallen sooner to the central powers or the Valkyrie. These incredible mountaineers, however, fall into disrepair since the Valkyrie's end, which focus on bringing the Alpini back into fighting form and form the Arditi. The Arditi represent the best that Italy has to offer. These elite units specialize in infiltration, especially throughout or through unconventional means and in harsh environments. Let's reorganize the Arditi to better represent the rapidly evolving role of special forces in modern warfare. All right, everyone. So the second Valkyrie sort of kicked off, and the third international is doing quite well. Also, the SRI. Socialist Republic of Italy did join the Third International. So we're fighting them too right now, which does suck, honestly, quite a bit. So we don't have any allies. We've lost a lot of guys. We've killed off a lot of these fine folk. And we've killed off quite a few Frenchies. As well as British people. So, uh, we currently do, did economic planning. With the depression brought on by Black Monday at an end, we must make certain that such a collapse never happens again. They do so we should establish a governmental organization focused on a long-term economic policy. Market protection. 
stimulate domestic production. The economy must be protected from predatory trade po policy of foreign nations. We should apply heavy tariffs on certain finished goods, naval exercises. As a display of power and to promote naval morale, we should organize a series of naval exercises in the Adriatic Sea, let our nation's enemies tremble. As a display of power and to promote the morale of our army, we should organize a series of near combat training exercises near the Po River, let our nation's enemies tremble. And we have been pushing down a little bit, which is really nice. Also, I guess Bulgaria just joined. But, actually, Bulgaria won the ba Balkan War. That's why Serbia is so small. And Greece is actually green. And Romania is, well, under Mechai. So. Overall, could be a lot worse. So we did take the port over there. We want Ravina. We have to get Ravina. Just because it is a uh, little well, port. The last port that they have. So We're slowly cruising on in here. Slowly, 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 slowly. As they are attacking through here too. Um, the Germans are definitely beating these guys back. I definitely want to take as much of Italy as possible. The Germans can have other parts of France. I don't care about France really too much. Except maybe if we get Nice. We'll take Nice, but still. See what you can do. Um, yeah. We still need more stuff here, though. Mm. Keep it up. We're doing okay here. Definitely doing okay-ish. And they're definitely just attacking like crazy. Especially when they're forcing the attack. A bit extreme, if you ask me, but you know what? Go right ahead, guys. See what you want to do about that. Alright, not bad. I mean, you see how, how crazy they are. We did lose a few more ships as well, so... Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the Germans are definitely beating them back now. Of course, the Anton they're fighting the Anton as well at the same time. Go ahead, get here. If we can go to here as well, that'd be phenomenal, but I don't think we really can. Oh, well. And you guys can go... and eh, it's kind of spread out. It's fine, you guys can go there too. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't really matter. As long as we win in the end, that's all I care about. That's all I flipping care about. Of course, Austria did join that Reichs back too, so we're going to be surrounded on all sides pretty much. we got plenty of political power, though. Pretty nice. Not sure what to do with it at this point, though. Go here and cut them all off. Oh, I guess I guess if Ancona is still there as well, but whatever. Yeah, it's been really good for getting a lot of uh, army XP, I suppose. Pretty decent amount of army, ex army XP. Nice. Hey, look at that. Very nice, very nice. Head into there. Finish off this front. Yeah, I'm not going to give these guys anything. I don't really care. Nice. And then kill them off. That'd be great. Couple divisions trickled. They still can't break our lines, thank God. So, we still don't have a lot of manpower, but we have some. Trying to pair stuff, you might as well create an agency then. Nice. Anything here? Guerrilla fighter, logistics wizard, not bad, not bad. Get back to the front lines, get to Ancona would be the most important thing, and... Oh, wow. That's a lot of divisions right here. Barrel straightforward. I kind of doubt we could win here. And I'm very correct. Mm, maybe I'm not correct. I hope I'm not correct. Nice. Yeah, you just kind of hang out here. Don't, don't worry about moving too much. They just love attacking, man. Now the French are slowly losing. The Russians are slowly losing as well. And Poland's in the Moscow court as well. So, what's up in here? Nothing. We've got plenty of fuel now. We are importing quite a bit of it, so. Makes sense to me. I want you to hold and you, you support the attack. There you go. Now they're dead. And they're going to slowly die. Thank you. We definitely more artillery. And then maybe we'll, we'll attack them through here. 
definitely see, but we'll see. Nope, you are not going to escape us. Uh, let's see. We did this. How much arty will we have? None, but maybe we can beg people for some arty. They'll help us out. We got plenty of guns, which is nice, actually. Oh, the force and defense, which is not a bad idea for them, but still. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? Exactly why we did this. Oh, look. Oh. Thought they were doing a little better, Germany. Oh, well. Uh, follow it up with. Aeronautica Nazio Nala Italiano. Our small air force consists of volunteers using what few plans can be scrounged together from foreign supplies. Must establish formal air base or air force prepared to train new pilots. There you go. I bet you want to build up all the roads here down here too, but that's fine. Get more army XP, yes, please. Recon and reinforce it, nice. And then upgrade airports, pilot training, aviation industry. Italian aircraft manufacturers have been stunned by the turbulence that has plagued the peninsula since the end of the Valkyrie. To bring them back up to par with foreign companies, they must have state support. Nice. Oh, hello. That's exactly what something I do not want to see a lot of here. Kill them off. They finally decided to enable him, eh? You force it. Livorno. I'm not going to deal with that. Look at all the soldiers. Well, at least they're trapped and circled. I think you really start focusing on this. Uh, let's keep here. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, nice. Man, that's a lot of soldiers trying to hold out here. German's still struggling a little bit, though. That's not a good thing for us. Taking our subby boys. Subbies and chubbies. Have them out down there. Please don't lose your soldiers. Please don't lose in the mountains. Come on, man. So dumb. Well, now we're coming up to the full line here. They're not lose. Ooh. Alright. God, I want to attack, but they're just they're just so strong. Yeah. Oh! They made it there too. Now, finding the Rex pack would be kind of pain in the butt. We've got to wait and get some more supplies first. So, after this one, aviation upgrade airports. To accommodate a true airports, the various small civilian air domes that dot the countryside should be nationalized and expanded. Pilot training. Volunteers to currently make up the bulk of our military pilots are largely former amateur enthusiasts with ample skill in the air. We should put these experienced fighters to work to establish a training regime for new pilots. Strategic focus, air supremacy. Fire support, bomb support, air supremacy. Skies must be free from enemies and our armies of unmolested by hostile aircraft. Our air force should primarily focus on establishing and maintaining control of the air. Fire support. Fires are the backbone of any air force, and to rest control the skies, we must develop new models. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Oh, well, that sucks. Bruh. We do okay sometimes. Other times, we just kind of suck. Keep doing that. Keep getting some more of these guys, too. That'd be good. Uh, para dustisti. Bear troops are a new type of unit in which will allow for the deployment of units to otherwise inaccessible areas. By developing more advanced airborne equipment, will possess unique tactical advantage over enemies. Female pilots. Many patriotic women with flying experience find themselves unable to directly contribute to our military effort. Female pilots should be permitted to volunteer for aerial transportation support roles, radar effect, or effort. Radar is a promising new technology which, with further development, can provide a wealth of information about enemy tactics and positions to reveal the course of enemy aircraft. Rural skies. The Air Force is no longer a ragtag collection of volunteers, but a fully functioning organ of our military. Let's rule the skies of Italy and beyond. Nice. And they just keep attacking, so I'll see you in just a little bit. And now, everyone, it's March 2nd, 1941, and we're still doing some uh, focuses up here, but we've just annexed the SRI, which is very weird that now they've decided to capitulate, but we can do Restore Order Piedmont, which would be good to do, uh, and Emilia as well, and Romagna, and attack the Papal States, two Sicilies, and Sardinia, and invite the two Sicilies into Legion of Italy. With the threat of the Socialist Republic now eliminated, perhaps now is the time to heal the rifts caused by the Civil War. Since we are in a clearly dominant position on the Italian Peninsula, it follows us to lead the way. 
Uh, you know what? We could try that. We could probably save and uh, see what happens. Also, we are, as you can tell, pushed quite far into France. Um, I'll show you the casualties as well. Let's see. 103,000. We've gotten rid of quite a few of these guys, too, which is pretty good. Pretty nice. Some, but let's see. How about the men? Negotiations. Today. Negotiations have begun between two, with two Sicilies as we bring them to an offer. Recognize Legion of Italy as the only path forward for Italian reunity and join our nation. Details such as the rights they will maintain as a state and part they will play in the Italian government can be worked out in the months ahead. But now all we wish to know is whether they wish to amend the rift caused by the civil war and bring Italy back together as it was meant to be. They have been de begun deliberations. <clears throat> oh, look at that. And they, to, and they tell us they hope to return with us and answer within the next couple weeks. The war drags on. They pray the negotiations go well. Two Sicilians agrees to a proposal. While the German government made a determined plea to make them remain in the Reich's back, the Sicilian government assures us this will not deter them from proceeding with the proposal's plan for the sake of Italian unity. Well, crap. The war drags on. The war against the Communist of France, their internationals dragged on for months, and considering we've already defeated the Italian allies, it seems pointless to continue. Perhaps we can suggest they agree to a simple truce, when, where all we gain is the land we already have, and any claims, are, are, any claims of ours held by the Communist of France or the allies, nothing more. No, no, we're good. Carlos Spain just won. The German Empire is doing okay now. And, uh, yeah, it would be a waste if we didn't just keep going on for now. Um, as much as I like those guys, let's, let's have a good go. Hopefully we don't get nailed invaded, but now that I said that, we probably will. Um, I don't think it would be that easy to actually get these guys with us, so just buy five and go by that. There you go. We need way more resources now. Let's drop down to limited or close. Yeah, limited at least first. Oh my goodness, we need so much more tungsten. You know, that's fine, do that. And then get one thing of rubber. Hello. Yes, yes please. Where are you at? Not sure why you're all the way over there. A lot of. This does not make any sense. And as long as they're still attacking us, that's fine with us. There you go. Just merge everything together. Don't repair as well. Last couple convoys are sub. That's fine. Let them attack us for now as we're really reinforcing the line. And then, you know what? If we can end the third international, at least on the continent like this, we will be really impressed. You know, Italy. Oh. Why not? Italy United. Great. Restore Order in Tuscany? You don't know that as a core, huh? I guess not. Look at that manpower. We still attack Sardinia. More aluminum? Sure, why not? Italian liberation? The day of Italian reunification is quickly dawn and must be fully prepared to liberate the rest of the peninsula whenever the opportunity arises. Oh, we don't get Italian liberation call. Dang it, that sucks. Synthetic research. New economy? Um, new defense contracts? Armaments facilities in the newly liberated parts of Italy can easily be expanded by issuing contracts. These facilities will encourage more enlargement. We're good to go. Where is this missing a ton of artillery? That's all. Return of the Campion Commune. Our government has recently scored a mighty diplomatic triumph as Switzerland has recently decided to return Campion, a formerly Italian enclave or exclave in Ticino, back to us. The only exciting commune question was temporarily put under Swiss protection following the start of the Italian Civil War in 1919. Now that our country is reunified again, the Swiss found a reason to keep Campion or Camp uh, away from us any longer. Evivia. Nice. Pretty decent. The Verona Trials. Today, in the city of Verona, the trial for the leaders of the Socialist Republic of Italy has begun. Unsurprisingly, Mussolini and his lot are found guilty of betraying Italy and sentenced to death. This turns out to be the fate for the rest of the leadership of the false republic. Socialism is now dead. Death of Mussolini and his traitors. We're going to go in. Let's see what we can do. Hope we can do well here. My goodness, hope we can do well. They're still pushing hard into there, so... Should easily be a win here, at the very least. Nice. Uh, maybe more of this? Sure, why not? There you go, Spawn. See what you can do. Alright, not bad. 
One quarter pounders, yes please. Those are pretty tasty for McDonald's anyways, yes. And why not? Ace priority. Oh, should have gone that one first. Whatever. And our Donald Land Doctrine. Nice. Even more soft attack is very good. Now we can focus on the whole officer core stuff. Did not think two sisters would just give up their land like that that fast, that quickly. Yeah, okay, we can actually see. Oh, they're out of equipment. That's nice. A million manpower. They're on all to serve out of two artillery as well. Alright, so we're not winning every battle here, which does kind of suck. So I want you all to hold in general. Man, these guys are doing very well. How's Germany doing? They're doing very well as well. Russia Bulk is doing okay. Chang Chang is looking okay. Not bad overall. At this point, we just gotta make some really coordinated attacks. Smart coordinated attacks, I guess I should add it that. Something like that, you know. So I'm attack us. And hopefully this division will get cut off. You guys can go straight there if you want. It's not much. It is only a single division, but well oh crap. It's still only a single division, but still. Oh, that sucks. Not bad. You might want to hold, though. What are we missing here? Just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of artillery, that's all. Alright, so, new defense contracts. Factories for Italy would be pretty nice to do. Italy's reborn. Oh, this is pretty good to do. Like a finish rising anew. Oh, the Spanish Civil War over. Italy's been reborn. Now the very identity of our nation must be cemented. Like the Romans of old, the Republic will be abolished forever and Imperium shall rise. The Italian Empire? Oh, yes, please. Oh, good God, yes, please. What else are we going to do here? Italy's united. Italy, it is done. Italy, beautiful Italy's whole again. In the hearts of all patriots, this moment shall ever forever be remembered. Oh, integrating generals. Uh, that's not bad. Dying Uh I do want to do factors for Italy, though. Much of Italy remains underdeveloped. If you to truly become one of the great powers of Europe, this must change. Nice. Our nation lacks domestic oil, sources of oil and rubber. We can, however, produce these from great bounty of natural resources on the Italian peninsula. Because honestly, where else would we do it? If not on the Italian peninsula, where else would we do it, man? Ah. What's going on here? God dang subs. No wonder our lines are kind of weak. going on in. We may not have enough artillery, but that's never stopped us before. And then logistics. Yeah, throw that in there too. Are they really attacking us? Yeah, they are. Okay. How are they doing so well? They must have air superiority. Of a lot of air superiority. Holy crap. That's not enough damage done to them to make up for our losses. Alright, let's see. 41. Oh, Kazavell in the second's dead. Goodbye, Kazavell in the second. Yeah, we lose here, we lose these guys, which is not good. How are these guys still losing? I don't understand how why they're so bad. Especially when you guys have like no guns. Literally no guns. 
You guys have literally no guns too. How are you able to do so well? Oh, I see. Part of the problem. Why are you still guarding there? Switzerland was never the enemy. I do not understand. Yeah, they must be just sending all their planes here. So hold on, hold on. All, all the damage are taken. Oof. Short or Liguria? My uh, might as well. But at least we're holding for now. Stop it! Stop! Why? Do you, why? The stupid Hoi Four frontline system needs to be reworked, man. There's no point why we should be trying to defend here, especially when the lines literally are not moving whatsoever. Yeah, you lost Frankfurt. Yeah, you better be able to beat him back, man. That's dumb. How are we able to beat him back, and yet you're not able to? That makes no sense. More rubber, please. Or rubber, period. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, let's get this one done, and we'll talk about the Italian Empire. And then I'll do more of this off-screen. Uh, oh, the Fall of London, nice. Yeah, that should be slightly better. And new economy? Well, back to Italy. Followed up with. There's a lot here we could do. New economy? With Italy United, we should not focus on the economic development of these parts of the countries which were once lost to us. Italy's United, of course, we read on earlier. Uh, new industrial programs. With Italy's fact, we're now once again in the position to serve Italy. We should work to integrate them into our nation. Synthetic resources, of course, like I said earlier. And then, expand dockyards. Uh, oh, 3% research. Yeah, that's okay. Expand on the Autostrada. The Autostrada has been a boon to the northeastern Italian nation. And with the rest of the land now under control, we can expand it throughout the peninsula. Expand airports. The aviation industry is growing rapidly the world over. We should be at least at the forefront of this new economic sector and expand dockyards. The ports of much of the country lies in ruin, and we must expand and renovate them. With the victory of the uh, Austrians, we can now uh, declare an Italian empire. No longer shall it, will Italy be shackled by foreign powers. She shall set her own destiny. Avanti Italia. And look at that flag. Not super special, but hey, at least we're Italian Imperium now. Well, we're not too much far away from where we just ended together from the last fade and fade out, but we've done really well. Like. Okay, so these guys, Spain joined the Entente, which scared the living pants off the Third International. Then again, it helped that Austria did invade the UK, basically, but okay. Um, yeah, we're going to continue doing some of this stuff here. Just Yeah, they just started like diverting all their soldiers away, which, you know, it's okay for us right now. That's okay. Totally okay. Totally okay with that. Oh, actually, we probably should be building up way more factories than just trying to repair roads. Um, especially in a nation that hates us. I'm going to do that too, but uh, I do that as well. Nice. Overall, yeah, uh, at this point, I'm going to take some territory for France. Like, this is dumb. This is kind of dumb how weak they have become, which is kind of weird, but hey, you know what? We'll take it. And of course, we got a lot of focuses to do as well, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah, this guy's level 9 on skill 9 attack. 8, 4, 3. Oh, and like I said earlier, I forgot about this too. Um, I'm not sure what I'm trying to choose. Military leader cost? Eh, engineer... Engineer, officer, trickster, and level up. Well, I do like trickster. Politically loyal. Nah, I'm okay. I don't like that one. And I'll choose that one because we can. Why not? Transfer speed's not bad. State serves the military. That sounds kind of cool. We don't need actual political power, though. Artillery experience came from combat. Design cost goes way down for artillery, which isn't really that big of a deal anymore. Experience gain is okay. Planning speed, I don't mind. Over heritage, we're not really using too much cavalry either. So, transfer speed's okay. Railway gun bombardment. As much as I like this one, you know, huh. if artillery doesn't win your battles, you're not using enough of it. Ah, screw it, use it anyways, because we can. Screw it, why not? Smoking fire, breakthrough 5% is pretty good. Suppressive barrage. Victory or death. Reserve. Flexible organization. You know what? I'm thinking as much. I love static warfare a whole bunch. Let's go smoking fire. That just that, that, that just fits us so well. More breakthrough is really good too. Suppressive barrage. Use that one.
Start to tactical withdrawal. Nice. Well, Sacramento, not bad. Syndicalist did lose. Well, he's level skill 10 on logistics or something. Suppressive barrage. Uh, cool. Oh, those are Geeks of War too, huh? Alright. Yeah, hello. Okay, then. You know what? I might just take all of France. You know, screw it. I might, I seriously might just take all of France because we can. We gotta be compensated somehow for the, all this stuff. So how's the Civil War here? Oh, hello. Whoa! When's the last time we actually saw the American Union State actually win here? It's been a very long time. Actually, you do need to take a Sardini as well, though. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, then the Entente. God dang it. I hate that so much. We just, like, demand them to submit to us. Because eventually we'll have to fight the Reichspact, too, which will probably be in the next episode. Of course, they're still fighting the Russians, but still. No, that's not good. Not bad. Yeah, we're doing really well now. I say quite a few planes still. We don't. We did throw some cast on some of our soldiers, though. Force it. Oh, we got that towel. Take him out, Shebog. Kane. If you don't click, it's going to be at war. Nice. We go processing. Get some resource efficiency gain. Slowly approaching Paris. At the very least, I want southern France. All of the southern France. Um, looking not bad there, honestly. In here. Tactical withdrawal just in case, maybe. I don't know. We've lost 300,000. Killed off almost 700,000 of these guys. Over a million syndicalists, basically. Yeah, so what, this is what happens when you run out of equipment. It's motorized with some fighters, half a million manpower on all adults serve. And the first time in a very long time, at least for me, he belongs as one of the Civil War. I don't understand how he did it. I don't ever see the AI AUS win. Of course, then again, he was president first, but good job, Long Dong. Good job. Long Ding Dong Arena. Paris just does not want to fall. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, yes, it did. Victory of the Commune of France, now but all assured. Thank you very much. Which means he's going to fall as well. A new economy. Uh, Italian Air Dentism Program. With Italy United, some of the most pres pressing issues of domestic policy solved or resolved, we can start looking outward, especially the lands which by right should be Italian. Which honestly should be ours already, but whatever. Still more already needed. And more of this too, but still. Not bad. Clean them up. Clean them up. Get rid of them. Nice. Well, we have 60 divisions. Wow, that's quite a few. Um, but fortunately, we are literally completely surrounded by either the Entente or the Reich's Pact. Um, we'll see how this goes, because once the, these guys die, that'll determine who we're going to attack next, in all honesty. So, uh, here. Break it up first, like this. I still want, I still want to take out Italy. Uh, we are Italy. I'll take out, um, Austria. Pretty good, pretty good. Yes, sir. Now train. Enough army XP, we don't need that one. Or this one. Um... Do we have any anti-air? Not a lot of it. But enough that I'll say yes to it. You guys, grab some logistics. Grab some of that too. That'd be good. For now, to play four. Not terrible, but we already have what we want. We can cancel only, so just fine. 
Um, Erode Cognitor Legacy, Legitimacy. Our efforts must be to convince the French people that the Cognitor government is and always was in a little legitimate construction, as well as the true oppressors. And the fact to, the will to fight on behalf of the syndicalist classes will be a little. Uh, opposition to our occupation. Oh, crap. Holy crap. They already lost muscle. Oh, wow. Finland's not looking so Finnish. And these guys are taking forever, so... Um... I can't imagine these guys holding on, holding on for much longer. They're out of fuel, which is not good for them whatsoever, but whatever. Stable Italian Republic. Get more stability, stability political power. New industry programs, of course. Industrial South. South always lagged bad in terms of industrial development. We must work to close this gap. Expand research institutes. Our newly founded research institutes have been effective in closing the technological gap between our nation and the other parts of Europe. Let us form these parts of our research apparatus, which have proven ineffective and streamlined the entire system. Italian miracle. Italy reunited has recovered from her previous troubles and surged forth onto the world stage as one of the largest Europe's largest economies. Oh heck yeah. Supply consumption goes down, better factory goods, merging everything there together. They should be able to finish this off very soon. I mean, then again, I don't know how strong Austria Hungary is, but they should be relatively relatively strong. What about Carl the First? But in the meantime, I'll probably finish off this war off screen just so that we can just keep moving on forward and we'll see what happens. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to end up in another huge, massive war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.